This guy is doing 18th century blacksmithing. And he's got his whole forge set up underneath the tent. What I want to do is try to capture the detail under the tent in watercolor and gouache. Michelangelo, go ahead with your question, please. I paint many similar subjects on location, and I was wondering if you could shed some light as to your approach when you're trying to distill a complex scene into its most uh, basic elements. Well, the first thing is to decide on what basic elements interested me in the first place. In this case, I'm interested in the blacksmith, his forge, the tent over him, and the table that displays his wares on the right-hand side of the composition. Everything else is irrelevant, and I can simplify it. So I'll focus on the silhouette. It could almost be black and white, but maybe I'll use a little bit of ivory black, raw sienna, titanium white, cadmium yellow deep, and Prussian blue. I'll use some of that Prussian blue with white to make a simple background. When you mix gouache with opaque white, you get a flatter color, and I just want a flat color behind the figure. This isn't the sky necessarily, it's just a cool color to replace that busy background. And I can put the green down below in the lower part of his figure, because that brings out the silhouette of all those lower elements. There is that red fire extinguisher, and I have red on my palette, but I probably won't use it. I'll use this green instead, just to make the bottom half of the background tone more grass-colored underneath that blue color. So the purpose of that blue and that green is to create a simple background tone. And I'll draw the rest of the detail, including the blacksmith, over that background. Now, as he works that lever, he's working the bellows and bringing fresh air into the charcoal, which heats up his metal stock. Underneath the forge and the bellows are a lot of details, toolboxes and legs of stools. I'd love to simplify. Since there's already a shadow under there, I can mix a dark green to suggest that shadow area and just lose all that area because with any complex silhouette, the way to attract attention to the important areas is by downplaying the less important areas. And the way to downplay them is to put the details into a shadow. Go ahead, Larry. Now I've had a question, not just about this blacksmith drawing or painting or sketch, um, but in general, especially about gouache. And so the question is, it seems when I um, watch what you do, which is always mesmerizing, that gouache is at first, maybe like a first layer, um, treated like um, a watercolor. And then later on, for, for f layers that go on top of that, it's treated in a more opaque way. And I guess I'm asking, is that what you do? Or um, is that what happens like after the fact, um, like a, like a a second thought or, or a way to maybe correct something, um, or or all of the above maybe? I think I get what you're asking, Larry, and the answer is yes. I do generally work from transparent to opaque, but I also sometimes you can see in this one I use the opaque early on to get that flat color. And my main overall strategy was to set up for all those details, which I really wanted to put in there. Hello, Mr. Kearney. Uh, my name is Andrew. I'm wondering how you decide when a painting is finished, like when to stop adding small details, either with paint, pen, or colored pencil. Andrew, the painting is finished when I can't subtract any more. Hey, did you know that for the price of one day of art school, you could purchase all of my tutorial downloads. I've got videos about painting portraits, flowers, dinosaurs, watercolor, gouache, casein, a lot of different topics that'll improve your game as a painter. In particular, you might enjoy this one on triads, how to paint with three colors. You can do all kinds of paintings with just uh, three colors to start with. I've got studio exercises, demos in the field, and a little bit of theory. So check out my full-length tutorial videos available as DVDs or as downloads or streaming. Just check out the download links in the description below this YouTube video. Okay, thanks for watching. You might want to check out my website or subscribe to my channel. And then here's a playlist with more good stuff and a video that continues the story. So check them out and share with your friends.